Hello and welcome, okay, to my latest video going from numbers 330 to 321. So on this video I'll count down 10 more fighters on my top 1000 countdown. And we will go to, sorry I'm just a bit uncomfortable. And we will start number 330, okay, number 330 is... Don Jordan. Now, Don Jordan beat four world champions in his career. Uh, Don Jordan had a total of 10 fights against world champions overall. Um, and Don Jordan comes in with a total of four world title fights. Don Jordan made two title defences. And against rated fighters, okay, Don Jordan had 25 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had 18 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Don Jordan had 3 fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, Don Jordan was top 10 rated for a total of 3 years. He was top 3 rated for 2 years. And Don Jordan was a ring champion for 2 years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, okay, Don Jordan had a total of 7 fights against pound for pound rated fighters. And in total, uh, Don Jordan beat three pound for pound rated fighters individually. So Don Jordan there, okay, comes in number 330th place, the first fighter on this um, particular breakdown and video. I'll just silence that actually while I think on. So let us leave Don Jordan on number 330. Let us go on to the fighter in 329th place. To a more recent fighter, okay, her champion at middleweight and super middleweight, it is Arthur Abraham. Arthur Abraham beat five world champions in his career. Um, Abraham had a total of 11 fights overall against world champions. And Arthur Abraham comes in with a total of 23 world title fights. Abraham also um, made a total of 16 title defences. And against rated fighters, okay, Arthur Abraham had 19 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had a total of seven fights against top three rated fighters and Arthur Abraham had two fights against ring champions. Now Arthur Abraham was top 10 rated okay for a total of 12 years. He was top 3 rated for 6 years um, and Arthur Abraham was a ring champion for 0 years. And against pound for pound rated fighters okay Arthur Abraham had 3 fights against pound for pound rated fighters um, and Arthur Abraham beat 1 pound for pound rated fighter individually. So Arthur Abraham has a big title fight record that helped him, very successful um, at title fight level. What hurt him from being any higher is actually his overall resume, which has a lot of good names on there, defeats to a lot of those big names, and also, but just not enough elite fighters for me um, to get him any higher. So Arthur Abraham is a 329. We'll go now to fighter number 328, former light heavyweight champion Willy Pastrano. Willy Pastrano beat three world champions in his career. Uh, Pastrano also had a total of five fights against world champions overall. And Willy Pastrano comes in with a total of four world title fights. Pastrano made two title defences. And against rated fighters, OK, Willy Pastrano had 33 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also comes in with a total of 17 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Pastrano had 5 fights against ring champions. Now, Willy Pastrano, okay, was top 10 rated for a total of 10 years. He was top 3 rated for 3 years. And Pastrano was a 2-year ring champion. And against pound pound rated fighters, okay, Willy Pastrano has a total of 5 fights. Um, and Pastrano altogether beat three pound for pound rated fighters. So Willie Pastrano comes in number 328. So after this video, okay, I've got 32 videos to do. So it's 21 more days in September after today. Add on October 10th for my finish. That's 31 days. So I've nearly caught up now um, to having to do a video a day. So next week, okay, I'm going to catch up and actually get ahead of myself, okay, to give me time prior to that October 10th deadline. So, on to fighter number 327, okay? This fighter is little spoke of, except for scrapbook boxing. It is a fighter called Wallace Bud Smith. Wallace Bud Smith beat one world champion in his career. 
Wallace Bud Smith had a total of 11 fights against world champions overall. And Wallace Bud Smith, okay, had a total of four world title fights. Uh, Wallace Bud Smith made one title defence. And against rated fighters, okay, Wallace Bud Smith had a total of 33 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Uh, Bud Smith also had a total of 25 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Wallace Bud Smith had 7 fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, okay, Wallace Bud Smith was top 10 rated for five years he was top three rated for two years um, and Wallace Bud Smith was a ring champion for one year and against pound for pound rated fighters okay Wallace Bud Smith had 10 fights okay against pound for pound rated fighters um, and Wallace Bud Smith beat one pound for pound rated fighter individually so Wallace Bud Smith is in 327th place okay um, on this latest 10 uh, and at the end, I will just explain a major difference that will come over the next few years prior to my 2023 update of the top thousand, which will be done in a much simpler form over 10 videos. So on to fight number 326, it's a fighter who is again unspoke of really, called Tony Herrera. Tony Herrera beat three world champions in his career. Tony Herrera had seven fights against world champions. And Tony Herrera comes in with zero world title fights. He made zero title defences. But against rated fighters, he has an enormous pile. Tony Herrera had 49 fights against top 10 rated fighters, which puts him in the top 100 out of the 1,000 in that category. Uh, he also had 20 fights, okay, against top three rated fighters. And Tony Herrera had four fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, Tony Herrera was top 10 rated for four years. Um, he was top three rated for one year. And Tony Herrera was a ring champion for zero years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, okay, Tony Herrera had a total of 14 fights against pound for pound rated fighters. Um, and Tony Herrera beat six pound for pound rated fighters. So Tony Herrera comes in number 326, a contender, um, had no title reign, but just felt stupid amounts at top rated fighters of his time. I mean, you know, a virtual half century, like I said, putting him in that top 100 in that category and not at the bottom, okay, he's travelling up that list. So, fighting number 325, we are back to Japan, okay, to a fighter called Shoji Aguma. Shoji Aguma beat four world champions in his career. Aguma had a total of 16 fights against world champions overall. And Shoji Aguma comes in with a total of 13 world title fights. Shoji Aguma made three title defences. And against rated fighters, okay, Shoji Aguma had 15 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also had a total of three fights against top three rated fighters and Shoji Aguma had a record of seven fights against ring champions now as a rated fighter okay Shoji Aguma was top 10 rated for five years he was top three rated for two years and he was a ring champion for one year and Shoji Aguma okay had three fights against pound for pound rated fighters and Shoji Aguma beat no pound for pound rated fighters so Shoji Aguma comes in number 325. Okay, we shall in a more go on to fighter number 324. But, you know, my top thousand has included many fantastic fighters from Japan and there are a few more to go, uh, but they are thinning out a bit now. But when you look over the top thousand, you know, Japan has been such a rich country in producing world champions and excellent fighters. Goes a bit underrated, I feel. So fighter number 324, okay, is Puerto Rican Hall of Famer Pedro Montanez. Pedro Montanez beat four world champions in his career. Uh, Pedro Montanez had a total of six fights against world champions overall. And in terms of world title fights, okay, Pedro Montanez had two world title fights. Pedro Montanez made zero title defences. And against rated fighters, okay, Pedro Montanez had a total of 22 fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also had a total of 10 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Pedro Montanez had 5 fights against ring champions. Now, Pedro Montanez himself was top 10 rated for a total of four years. He was top three rated for three years. And Pedro Montanez was a ring champion for zero years. And against pound for pound rated fighters, okay, Pedro Montanez had seven fights against pound for pound rated fighters, um, and Pedro Montanez beat four pound for pound rated fighters individually. Pedro Montanez is an underrated fighter. Pedro Montanez had a good resume, fought some great fighters. 
Now the next fighter coming up, okay, fighter number 323 again is not spoken of by many and this is a problem on YouTube. Not enough good channels giving good talks on fighters. So number 323, I mean, if you look at the expression on Ezal Charles's face on the right, he doesn't look happy taking that left hook from violent kid Elmer Ray. Elmer Ray beat three world champions in his career. Elmer Ray had 19 fights against world champions overall, including a large fight run against the power puncher Obi Walker. Elmer Ray had no world title fights. Elmer Ray made no title defences. And Elmer Ray comes in with a total of 14 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Elmer Ray had 8 fights against top 3 rated fighters. And Elmer Ray had 6 fights against ring champions. Now Elmer Ray himself was top 10 rated for 4 years. He was top 3 rated for 2 years. And Elmer Ray was a ring champion for 0 years. And against pound pound rated fighters, okay, Elmer Ray had 7 fights against pound pound rated fighters. Um, and Elmer Ray beat two pound pound rated fighters. Elmer Ray is one of those fighters who has seemingly a low number of fights against top 10 rated fighters, but unlike other fighters who have low numbers from the more modern era, Elmer Ray also had a huge fight run with, uh, with Obi Walker that is not factored on there. So when you look at his fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers, that number there of 14 skyrockets upwards, okay, um, to a much larger number. So, Elmer Ray, okay, in 323. In 322, okay, we have Aaron Brown, a.k.a. Dixie Kid. Dixie Kid beat two world champions. Uh, Dixie Kid had nine fights against world champions overall. And Dixie Kid fought a total um, in his career of 80 rounds against champions. Now, in Hall of Fame category... Dixie Kid beat two Hall of Fame fighters. He had a total of five fights against Hall of Famers overall, and Dixie Kid fought 33 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Dixie Kid had a total of three world title fights. Dixie Kid made no title defenses, and Dixie Kid fought a total of 28 title fight rounds. Dixie Kid had a total of nine fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. A number, of course, that would be higher had ratings gone back that far. Um, and Dixie Kid had a total of 13 fights against pound pound rated fighters. Um, and Dixie Kid beat three pound pound rated fighters individually. So Dixie Kid is in 322. We have one more fight to go. And some people may think this guy is too low. But actually, this guy is too low because he didn't have a large title fight record, even though he had some key fights names on there. And he also didn't have a massive... Uh, he didn't have an outstanding resume either. Again, you know, more unknown fighters than known fighters. Um, it is Marcel Sedan. Now, Marcel Sedan, okay, beat two world champions. Marcel Sedan had three fights against world champions. And Marcel Sedan comes in with a total of two world title fights. Um, he made zero title defences. And Marcel Sedan had a total of 16 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Four fights against top three rated fighters. And Marcel Sedan had two fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter, Marcel Sedan was top 10 rated for five years. He was top three rated for two years. And Marcel Sedan was a ring champion for one year. And against pound pound rated fighters, he had a total of four fights. Um, and he beat three pound pound rated fighters individually. Now, just to explain on Sedan why he scores low, is some fighters from his era, in terms of fights against rated opponents, double or treble or quadruple his number. Um, you know, he doesn't have a large tally for that time period. Also, um, at, when I go on break, okay, I'm going to be updating my top thousand with the opposition score. That is going to change the whole top thousand around. And fighters who fight, fight pals of weak opponents will then be separated and usurped by fighters who fight stiff opposition. The top thousand they're doing 2023 will be much different, plus the other 12 factors getting added on there. But that's my latest video, 3.30 to 3.21. I'm out for now.